Results will be displayed. Thank you. Ambidex gates now opening. What was that, Sigma? Don't play dumb. You chose Ally. Didn't you hear me? I told you that if your BP drops to zero, you die. No, you could have done it. The brain's processing power increases during a crisis. It starts working so fast that a second can seem like an eternity. Your brain was doing that right before time ran out, wasn't it? Well, am I wrong? Let's go. Time to see what the results are. Maybe it's different this time. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally, let's get ready to rock! If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Here are the results from your game! Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Oh no, it's nothing. You don't have to thank me. I only did what anybody would have done. I believed in you and Fi. Dio? Are you serious? This kid's full of shit. What? What? I didn't do squat. Quark was the one who decided how we were gonna vote. And you wanna know what he told me? You just leave the voting to me, Mr. Dio. Grandpa's gonna choose to ally for sure, because I'm his opponent for this one. I think we should betray. To be honest, I'm getting kind of tired of that grumpy old bastard. He's had a good life, but it's time for him to go. What do you say we leave the old bark here and leave? I've got a plan. See? Don't worry about me. I'll just tell him you tricked me. He'll believe whatever I tell him. Besides, if he still trusts me, that'll make it easier to use him again later. What do you say, Mr. Dio? Pretty good plan, huh? All right, let's do it. You're lying! I never should have trusted you! Dio! You're a lying jerk! Sure, kid. Keep whining. See if I care. Grandpa! You believe me, right? Don't let this brat fool you, old man. All of this is just part of his plan. You bastard! I'm not gonna let you get away with this! <sighs> That's enough, Quark. Don't lose your temper. How long have I known you? <laughs> I could be deaf and blind, and I'd still know if you were lying to me. You're just as gullible as he said you'd be. Hook, line, and sinker. 
Let me give you a little warning, Tenmyoji. That little shit is a hell of an actor. I'll bet you money he's a born con man. I don't know what he is to you, but if I were you, I'd trust the kid as far as I could throw him, and at your age, that can't be much. You hearing me, old man? Keep an eye on him. That's all right. I understand. I'm so sorry. I apologize. This is very unfortunate. The past is the past. There's no point complaining about it. I'll just have to try and get those points back in the next AB game. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 BP? That's impossible without a second round. <laughs> yeah. I guess you got a point. You're right. There will be a second round. When? I don't know. Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Um, they're already open. Right you are. So, let me just close up. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round two of the Amberdex game will be the Moon Round. Moon cards will be required to open the gates. <laughs> yeah, now. You. So. I don't know. As many times as you need to. It's anybody's guess how long it'll go. But I plan on keeping this party open until somebody opens the number nine. So it's over when someone gets 9 BP. Nope. As long as that person doesn't open the number 9 door, the game goes on! Of course. You could also get stuck just below 9 BP, where everybody just keeps going back and forth and back and forth and losing points. After all, if there's no money with 9 BP, the door can't open. If that happens, you'll just have to continue on to round 3 and round 4. And round five, round 100, round 2000, we might even go all the way up to round 24 billion. Although, I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. I don't know, Ken. Yeah? So. Nope. There aren't any rules about how many people can go through that door. It could be one person, or two people, or even all nine of you. Uh, <laughs> there is one thing though, see. All that stuff about how you have to have three people to go through the secondary chromatic doors, maybe it's not 100% true. <laughs> well, you can open the door with just one or two people if you want. That's not what you told us. Well, <laughs> I didn't want to make things complicated. Then explain it now. Just use the bracelets. What? How? There's a sort of scanner between the two doors. It checks to see if the right people are going through. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's scanning the people. So it's scanning the bracelets then? Ding ding ding! As long as the scanner sees the right combination of bracelets, it doesn't matter how many people there are! No, they do indeed. Then, then how do I take it off? Well, there's two ways. The first is to get through the number nine door and escape. As soon as you're out, the bracelet unlocks. Oh, by itself. What's the second way? Hey, Zero, wake up, will ya? What's the second way? Oh, Bio. I think you already know. What? Do you really want to get rid of that bracelet? Of course I do! No, oh, well, I see. It's easy. Nothing to it, really. You. Die. Here's an 
exciting fact. Your heart creates a bunch of faint electrical impulses. You know what an electrocardiogram is, right? Technically, it's a machine that graphs the electric current flowing across the myocardium, but you probably know it as the thing in the hospital with the little light that goes beep, beep, beep. Anyway, the point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. Your fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always watching. So, when that signal goes away, the lock on the bracelet releases, right? Yep. So there you go. The second way. Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. Apart from that, there is no other way to get the bracelets off. If you try something harebrained like trying to break, I don't think I need to. But if you're. Oops! I guess it's not gonna be very lucky for some of you, huh? <laughs> Next round. Uh, yep. What do you mean? Well, do I have to explain everything? Somebody might die during the next round of the A-B game. There. That's pretty clear, right? If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be ten Mioldi or less. One or the other. Or... <gasps> it might be both of them. <laughs> what? Why am I going to die? Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone who's BP drops to zero gets penalized. I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is. <laughs> Correct, Siggy. Full marks. see. Alice and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. What? What the hell? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well... Is there anything else you've conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. I think it's fair, after all. It's not like anybody else knew, right? Right, Fido? Yeah, I guess so. you'll be going through are downstairs. You already saw them. They're shot me. But what? Uh, the colors change. Me too. Mine too. Wait, I guess the colors weren't the only thing that changed. It switched from pair to solo. You're right. Mine switched from solo to pair. Mine is now a solo as well. Yep, looks like mine's changed too. I've gone from solo to pair. I'm still a pair. The three of us seem to be magenta now as well. I'm yellow, and it still says solo. Fi, you and Dio are yellow now too, right? Yeah. Looks like I'm a pair. When did they change? Back when the AB gates closed. As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. The pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too. And of course, it's totally random. No rules or anything. Now, with all of that explained, I must bid you adieu. Sadly, we may never meet again. What? Well, there's not really anything for me to facilitate anymore. I mean, you guys are good from here, right? I'll never see you guys again. <laughs> Did 
did you really think I was going to cry? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. So as if I'd cry over you dummies. <laughs> you mad? I may be gone, but I'm always watching. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Have a nice tragedy. Piece of shit. If I could just get my hands on that little fucker, I'd squeeze him till he popped. Um, so what happens now? We've still got a while until the chromatic doors open. We should go and see if we can find any other exits. Maybe there's a vent or a disposal chute or something. If there's a chance Zero missed something. I concur. There's no point in standing around. We lose nothing by looking. And if we find nothing, we can always return and go through the chromatic doors. Let's split up. Five minutes would give us a good half hour or so. Let's meet in front of the chromatic doors five minutes before they open then. Any objections? Oh, 
Sigma. What are you doing here? Huh, I wonder. Oh, you think so? But you sure it ain't just all in your head? Why do you want to know? Sigma, where'd you come from? No, it's okay, I guess. I just thought Ten Miyoji was the only other person here. This is the crew quarters. We decided we'd split up to investigate. Zero. No, I meant I found zero things. I didn't find anything either. Although, I guess you could say this whole facility is suspicious. Hmm, well, maybe solving all of these puzzles is part of the Nonary game. Um, well, this is just, um, speculation, but maybe it's for entertainment, so rich, powerful people can watch. Yes, they're probably off in an opulent theater, watching us struggle while they drink brandy and eat caviar. Oh, you think so, huh? So some rich bastards killed her off for kicks. What kind of a death is that? Well, maybe her dying didn't have anything to do with the rest of the game. No, Kay was right. If her dying wasn't part of all this, the rabbit would have said something. But what'd we get? Nothing. Just tells us to keep playing and disappears. I can only think of one reason he'd do that. Murdering her was always part of Zero's plans. Now, if you can think of another way all this fits, well, I'd love to hear it. So you're saying that Zero Senior is the one who murdered the old lady? Now, it sure looks that way. That means there's a seven in one chance anybody could be the murderer. Well, Alice and I can't be Zero. What? Come on, Alice and I know each other. Well, um, how do you know each other? Uh, I guess you could say we're co-workers. An organization? That's kind of vague. Um, that's... I can't tell you. I mean, I can't tell you. Just forget about it, okay? Why can't you tell us? Because it's... Confidential. I promised I wouldn't tell. Yeah! But what if the people you work for have something to do with what's going on here? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should tell you. Sorry, but I just don't really trust you guys. I mean, what if one of you is Zero? It could be any of you. Sorry. Anyway. I think that's enough about me and Alice. I just don't really feel like I can trust you guys. Maybe if that changes, then I can tell you. So, I guess I'll go now. Go? Where are you going? I don't know. I haven't really figured it out yet. Then I'll be going too. Fine. <laughs> Save it. I don't trust you any more than she does. Sorry. Mr. Sigma? Nothing yet. Well, Alice, Clover, and I did go over this room quite thoroughly. 
I doubt you'll find any hidden hallways here. Uh, well, I was concerned about the lady you found. Who would do such a horrible thing? Given what we know so far, you're the most likely candidate. Fine, please. Why would I kill this woman? Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying the evidence points to you right now. If we find more evidence in the future, that could change. Beats me. I've never seen her before. I don't know her either. Neither do I. Well, I suppose I might have known her before I lost my memories, but there's no way to know, is there? You still can't remember anything? No, not even a little, unfortunately. <laughs> Are you suspicious of me too, Sigma? If someone ran into you on the street at night, they'd probably pass out from fright. Or maybe even during the day. Oh, I'm so sorry. I apologize for my frightening appearance. No, I suppose not. Well, I assume not. But I'm not sure why, but... None of this feels particularly strange. The mask and the suit, I mean. In a way, it almost feels... natural. I don't feel as though I was forced into it. Are you saying this is how you always look? No, I don't think that's it. This might be a pretty obvious question, but... is there any way for you to take it off? No, I've tried several times, to no avail. I honestly don't even know where to start. Ah, but there is something I'd like to ask of you. There are parts of the suit I can't see. Could you have a look? A hole? You could open up the suit and take the mask off. I see. That's excellent news. We just need to find whatever it is that goes in there, then. Thank you. I feel somewhat relieved. I was beginning to fear I might have to spend the rest of my life like this. Wait! A minute ago, you said that it felt natural. Well, it does. But that doesn't mean I want to stay in it forever. Imagine having glasses, for instance. Wearing them doesn't feel strange, but you'd hardly want to wear them all the time, forever, would you? That's what wearing the suit is like. Well, I think that's enough about me. No. There still might be something here. I'm staying. Me too! I see. Well then, I will move ahead and what do you intend to do? Where do you plan to go? Very well. I shall head for the crew quarters then. Until we meet again, excuse me. Oh, Sigma. Perfect timing. You were here earlier, right? Did you find anything suspicious? Like, uh, a secret pathway or something. Anything else, then? How about this? This New Year's Eve, then? Wait, what did you say? What do you mean, six days? Wait a minute. When were you grabbed? Y yeah. I was abducted in the middle of the night on December 22nd. I... Uh, I think it was the 20th. Then we were all taken on different days. Maybe they kept us on a Soparil IV trip or something? In theory, you could have everyone wake up at the same time if you got the dosage right. I think that's likely. Yeah. Some of us were prob- You too? 
I felt disoriented since I woke up. Maybe it's because we were asleep for so long. Your muscles start to atrophy if you don't use them. Beats me. I have no idea. Nah, nothing in the quarters. Oh well, there was a book about a cat. A cat? Yeah, something about a cat in a box and whether it's dead or alive. Uh, didn't make any sense to me though. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Well, actually there was one thing. What? I wasn't trying to hide it. The right moment to mention it just never came up. Well, see for yourself. Yeah, it was... Let me see that. Radical Six infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. Just read the article. You mean you think we got infected with this Radical Six thing? Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Well, we don't know anything for sure. But look at us. We seem pretty healthy. Admittedly, I don't know what the symptoms of Radical Six are. But if it's killing people worldwide, they must be horrific. Now, just look at this soft, lustrous skin. This perfect, shapely face. Does this beauty look like something infected with an awful disease? You want to touch it, don't you, boy? I can see it in your eyes. Go on. Try. That could just be from sleeping for a couple of days. Or maybe it's a side effect of that drug. Uh, besides, if this is where they ship people to quarantine them, don't you think there aren't enough, uh, people? This thing is killing people all over the world, right? So why would there only be nine of us here? Think about it. Zero is forcing us to play this nonary game. Why would the government quarantine people and then make them play a game? Yes, it is. Probably not. That's true. I hope they're all right. Neither have I. Me either. I don't think you'll be able to just puzzle that out. If we want the truth, we need to find more information. Yeah, well, doesn't look like we're gonna have time for that. Uh, yeah. All right, then. We should hurry. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. You're late. What the hell are you doing? That's not good enough. You realize we could die here, right? Hey, whoa. Calm down there, girl. I made it in time. Barely. We've only got five minutes left. You're a yellow pair. Who do you think your partner is? Gee, I wonder. Ugh, son of a... Come now, Fi. Please, calm down. Fighting now helps no one. He's right, you know. The doors have already opened. We need to hurry up and figure out our teams. <sighs> what did I do to deserve this asshole? We're almost out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Just like before.
three minutes. I'm not pairing up with K. Oh? We'd end up playing against each other in the next AB game. Last time, you betrayed Clover. How am I supposed to know you won't do the same to me? You can't be trusted. How unfortunate. To be honest, however, I would rather not go with you either. Yeah? Why's that? Well, you only have one BP left. I very much doubt you'll choose to ally in the next round. Even if you promised me you would choose to ally, I'd be in an undesirable situation. You see, I wouldn't be able to choose to betray. If I did, and you were true to your word and allied, then I would kill you. So there you are. That is why I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyoji. Of course, for the same reason, I would rather not be paired with Alice. That's not a problem. Sigma and I will be taking Clover. I trust her more than any of the rest of you. Yep. I want to go with Alice, too. <laughs> I would like to go with Sigma or Phi. They chose Ally last time. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'm Phi's partner. You should pair up with us. Sound good? No. I am also opposed to that choice. If Alice and Clover pair up, and Luna and Dio pair up, the rest of us don't have a choice. We'll be stuck with Phi's option C. I believe I mentioned before that I do- And I don't want to go with- <laughs> One minute remain. It's all over. This is it. We're all going to die. Are you all right? No. No. That's not it. Don't you get it? We aren't gonna die. We have to die. We have to die here. All of us. What the hell? Oh, snap out of it, kid. Oh, come on, Quark. Talk to me. No, I'm fine. You're the crazy ones. Getting so serious about this stupid game. We should just stop. End this. End all of it. End everything. <sighs> we need to get him to the infirmary. No. We don't have time. 30 seconds remain. We don't have a choice. Quark's with me. I'll carry him through. But we still haven't figured out who's going where. I can't afford to be picky anymore. Someone just choose. Sigma, you have to choose. <laughs> Please, just do it. We don't have any time left. Nine, eight, seven. <laughs> No, I cannot allow you to do that. Choose a different door, please. Right, I'm coming. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. All three doors seem to be locked. That's unfortunate. It looks like the device next to the number 9 door. Why don't you try pulling the lever? It opened. You're probably just overthinking it. That door opened. That means we're going through it. Bring it on. Don't go soft on me now. Come on, Sigma. Let's go. It is kind of confusing, isn't it? What is it for? 
Well, I think it looks like some sort of workroom. If you say so. We should split up and search it. We need to find, um, key cards with moon symbols on them, right? Yes. They should be somewhere in this room. 